Hi everyone, welcome back to the Metaverse Guy podcast. Have you heard about uh, the Snoopers? Now the Snoopers, uh, very interestingly, is a sandbox metaverse experience by, uh, created by, uh, or being created by uh, Snoop Dogg, who is a famous American uh, rap musician. Uh, in his sandbox metaverse, he will have virtual concerts, he will have parties for his fans, and he'll be selling NFTs uh, based on his, his, his avatar and other uh, merchandise as well. Similarly, a lot of large companies like Adidas, Atari, etc. also creating their metaverses on the sandbox. Largely, the sandbox is becoming a very, very famous metaverse and a very successful one as well. And I thought this is a good time that we discuss uh, uh, the sandbox and what you can do, how you can create your experiences on uh, sandbox, make money uh, with the same. Now, uh, to understand how it is done uh, on the sandbox metaverse, there are two different aspects we have to learn. One, what is the whole sandbox ecosystem, uh, how it functions. And secondly, what are the tools available to us to uh, create any uh, metaverse experience on the same. Now, uh, uh, look at it this way. If you are talking about the ecosystem, sandbox is sort of a virtual gaming platform. Uh, where the content is created by the users themselves. So as a user, you go there, you create games, you allow other people to play your games, so on and so forth. And in the process, you'll be creating assets which are sold and bought, and hence you make money uh, with the same. In this ecosystem, there are basically three types of tokens. The first one is called SAND, S-A-N-D, SAND. And uh, this basically is the uh, the governance native token of uh, the sand uh, the, of the sandbox. Now, what does that mean? Being a governance token, it allows you to uh, do all sort of transactions, interactions, etc. For example, you want to play a game, you want to create your avatars, uh, etc. You want to customize your avatars, etc. You need sand for that. So it's like this currency of this uh, this metaverse and. It is capped at 3 billion sands in the sandbox and uh, basically you can play some games to earn uh, sands, you can participate in a few contests to earn sand or you can also go to crypto exchanges and buy sand uh, from those exchanges as well. Uh, the sand is based on ERC20 protocol of uh, the Ethereum network. This basically is, is a technical standard for giving predictability of these smart contracts. Uh, so just to simplify uh, the same. After a SAND comes the second token, which is called LAN, which is, uh, as the names also suggests, uh, it is the digital real estate of the sandbox uh, metaverse. Uh, this basically uh, is, a, is, is a piece of land uh, in this metaverse that you buy and you create your experiences, your games, etc. on top of the land that uh, you bought. Now, these are also capped at 166,464 uh, lands uh, that are available in, uh, in the sandbox and you can have one land or you can buy a land parcel which is a combination of uh, a number of lands and for an example, there's, there's something called as an estate, which is a 24 by 24 land parcel that you buy on the sandbox. Now, the land is uh, based on uh, ERC721 protocol of the Ethereum network. Uh, and you can buy land using the sand that you have. Uh, thirdly, uh, the, the, the token that we have is called an asset. Now, assets are built on Ethereum double one double five uh, standard and these basically are the assets of the gaming experiences so uh, the, the, the uh, you know, let's say various 3d objects that you have in a game like an animal or a building etc all these are gaming assets that are uh, uh, created using uh, some platforms given by uh, the sandbox and uh, then they are built on top of erc double one double five which become assets that you use in the games. Now, how do you create these games? That brings me to 
the second part of uh, this video how are you creating these games for that you are basically given three platforms uh, three tools uh, by uh, the sandbox the first one is called box edit now uh, a box basically refers to voxel which is nothing but a 3d pixel so while pixels are 2d a voxel is a 3d and in box edit you can edit voxels you can uh, create various voxel based 3d models uh, etc which can be used in the games that you will be creating once you've created any uh, object in the box edit you can then uh, convert it into an nft and you can sell it on the uh, the sandbox marketplace which is the second tool uh, sandbox provides us you can uh, ship it off to a uh, sandbox metaverse it is now an nft you can uh, sell it to other people to be used in the games that you will be creating and third uh, tool that the sandbox gives to us uh, is the uh, is the game maker so once you create any uh, object in the box edit you export it into the game maker and game maker basically has uh, its own uh, visual scripting tools which you can apply on the objects that you've created and build games out of that so combining all these aspects all the tokens and all the tools that i've just talked about you can create your own games you will have to purchase a land on the metaverse but it is becoming a very very uh, uh, you know interesting investment uh, for the future and you might want to take a look at it especially if you're a business it makes a lot of sense to create your sandbox metaverse experience and allow a lot of people to interact with you with your brand play your games see your experience etc do visit us at uh, quebland.com and see the kind of sandbox experiences we are building for a number of companies see you on the side bye